is. I apologize, somewhere along in my video, I, uh, when I flipped you around there, I must have hit pause. So I just want to show you this. I just got the eight nails put in, four along the bottom, four along the top. Um, like I was saying, one of the biggest issues already is even just hammering these nails in. You can see how it's starting to build up. I'm getting extreme granule loss um, just from the pounding. Um, and what's starting to happen on these shingles is they're starting to hinge. Um, it might be hard to see with the video. I'll try to kind of trace it. There's a hinge right in there. There's a hinge right in there. You can see this one kind of comes all the way up into there. And this is with, you know, after a couple rains, the granules that are all loose in there, I'll just gently rub my hand across to show you what'll happen. See how that crack starts to show up? So same thing, if you even just lightly brush, see those granules being lost. There's a fracture all the way along that straight across. Um, again, I said it was going to be, we had some hinging as well on the second course here, but it's, it's certainly more prevalent on that top course. So yeah, you can see at the weakest point that shingle starting to break now, just from even gently touching it right along that crack. Um, there's a, there's a little bit of a crease in here. You can see that. We're changing along. Um, yeah, this this roof is pretty shot, and um, yeah, we'd recommend not not performing individual repairs. Uh, there's going to need we're going to need to tear this whole thing off um, in order to restore this house to its pre-storm condition. Um, with, you know, after this repair test, you can see even the granules where I wrote how it's faded away already. Yeah, it's it's in bad shape, so. Thank you, guys.